quest. Okay. Okay. All right, there we go. I can turn that off now. Now that I'm sure which way is mute. <laughs> There's no indicator anywhere else. So I've never done this before. Um, this is my first run of this ever. And I saw it was up, so I figured I'd try it. I don't know why I can't edit my uh, stream title, though. It's no longer Friday. I'm no longer doing favor. Actually, I was earlier a bit. Oh, that's awesome. It was too slow to make it through. And that thing closed and air jets went on and yeah. please. Thank you. I guess that's all we needed. Now we go up here. idea. Hey Skunk. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. I, um, I've never run this before, so I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just sort of trying to follow along and not die. But I wanted to record my first run of this, and uh, I was already set up for streaming, so I figured I'd go ahead and stream it. Not to take away from Shadow Palooza, which is still going on, last I checked. But um, I want to get this down so I have at least one run of this on video. I get some pretty good damage out of my primal scream. 
That's nice. Oh, it's the dragon up there lobbing stuff. That's what it, those things are. Got it. I will keep that in mind, Skunk. Thank you. So far, not too much is happening. You mean these stairs over here? I also get the idea when the light's coming, you want to get out of the way. Yep, there it is, the warning. So I'm going to pop out over here. file effects, I might turn my post-processing off. Actually, this doesn't seem too bad. It's not like the ice section or anything. I can still sort of see what's going on. Of course, the dragon exists in both. Well, if everybody else is going to pike near the stairs, I should pike near the stairs. That seems to be the thing to do. And I must say, I got these new headphones today. Oh, so much more comfortable. I had heard good things about Steel Series, and now I know why. The Razer Kraken Pros that I had were nice, but this is just so much more comfortable. And they were on sale, which is also good. And they have a mute in line, so I can mute while I'm on sh shadow play like I am now. I just have to get used to which way is mute. There's no indicator. It's just uh, a slide switch. Really, their keyboards aren't that good. It's unfortunate because I know one of the new laptops I was looking at uh, uses a Steel Series keyboard. Just a pile on the boss. Okay, not a big deal. Seemed to went down pretty quickly. I am not hearing any sound from the game. Whether it's game sound, combat, voice, nothing. Uh, yeah, um, I'm not much for mechanical just because of the noise, although I did fool around with there was a display of different cherry switches at Micro Center the other day, and uh, definitely, oh, there we go, I have game sound now. Definitely a difference in the different uh, types of cherry switches. I think I like the browns the best because they were quieter, but still had good feeling. They had a keyboard set up with, uh, what, reds, blacks, browns, I think? They have blues too, don't they? Yeah, there's some blues in there. 
it was nice to actually be able to try them all out all in a row right there rather than trying to read which one you might like. before it was dead. Oh, there's a, something else there. So because I had uh, bought the Krakens uh, in November, the Best Buy window for returning was still going on for holidays. So I went and returned those. And I was thinking about getting the uh, Kraken 7.1 Chromas because they do have uh, inline mute. But the uh, Krakens were fairly comfortable. I still had put undue pressure on my ears. And uh, didn't quite like that, so I went over to Micro Center and got the Steel Series. And, uh, They seem to be working just fine right now. I am enjoying them. I turned the light off. They have a light in them. That's orange. I turned that off. But other than that, everything looks good. Looks like it's working well. And I've been listening to a uh, GDQ and uh, Shroud of Palooza for a while, off and on, and been working pretty well. I hope the mic is at least as good as the Krakens were. Frankly, that's a secondary concern. <laughs> when streaming, they've got to be comfortable, first and foremost. As long as I'm somewhat understandable, then the mic can be a little less quality as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I would like a nice mic, but I much prefer comfort over my quality. Shh, supposed to go into this one now? Yeah, looks like it. Good. Thanks, Kunk, for that confirmation. Glad to know it's working well. Myself. Why am I not cocooned? Oh, it's lag, that's why. There are two circles, and I've cocooned myself twice. I'm still not getting healed. Alright, there we go. I had to quit playing earlier because of the lag. I was trying to do more favor run. And it just was not happening. I couldn't get anywhere. For like a half hour, I just sat there doing nothing. As I have the Epic Ethereal Bracers on, so that's a big drop in power if I take Feather Fall off. I will do it to make sure that I don't die stupidly, but... That, uh... That's one bad thing about having Feather Fall as part of one of your main pieces of gear. Certain 
fights where you don't need it or don't want it, uh, get extra hard. Yeah, that's where I usually have it as well, but... Just happened to get the Epic Ethereal Bracers, which work really well. So... That's where it is at the moment. I, mean, I still have it on my ring for level 20. Well, actually, I have a feather, ring of feather fall, so it's a ring of feathers. I mean, so it's level one. Are we supposed to leave now? Am I supposed to keep my feather fall off or a dwarven paladin lies here, his bones and his last cast spell caught in a strange, peaceful aura of stasis. I don't really need to rest. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Again, I'm not sure about this quest at all. I haven't even really watched her run, so... I wasn't planning on doing it today, but the group was up when I logged back in, so... I figured, what the heck, might as well. Get some more favor, and... Hopefully get some... Crafting ingredients. Flogs, right? Oh, I still need more ingots. More than anything else. I haven't seen those on the... Just so if you get the shadow up top, you make it down the time. Oh, okay. Sure. These guys I can hit. Uh, I sort of understand that there's factories and you have to pick the right one or something. But that's about it. So is range the only way to go for the uh, Battle Ragers, really? Because I know in melee they uh, debuff you pretty hard or something. Something causes me to get, die every time I try to take one on.
Yeah, just kiting them all. That works too. What's going on? Let's see what we got here. Shock and awe. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I have no idea where everybody went. Got it. So shadow call, you go in the center to kill the shadows. So they're caught up on that ledge. They're trying to get to uh, him. So that keeps all them busy during the rest of the fight. I'm starting to get some idea about this point now, thanks to the explanation, Scott. The key is to get the real factory. Shadows wins back here.
Dragon's getting down. Click on the bubble to port. Must have missed seeing it. Uh, so when you kill certain shadows, it makes one. It's not all of them, or it's not killing the wave, it's certain ones. I'll have to watch for that next time. Battle Raging, you just go over there with the rest of them. There we go. Shadows. Oh, those bubbles. Those shadow bubbles. Got it. Now I understand what those are. She keeps healing herself as long as her factory hasn't been found.
Well, so far this seems to be going decently well, except for the fact that we haven't found the Flector yet. Looks like Shadow timing in. Ah, there we go. Flactory's been found and destroyed. Grab crystal shards. Is that to relight the wards? Like in, uh, thing? Spinner, I'm guessing. Shadow side to grab. Place and like spot. Interesting. Pull, 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 pull. You have to kill the very intense center and then pull both levers. Pull, 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 pull. Good job. And that's it. Hm. Alright, so at least I have some clue about the end part. Now. And I've made it through the rest of it, which is a bunch of mirrors and then a couple other side rooms. Ah, uh, yeah, that one's one of the few that uses color in chat.
That yellow text. He changed his text color. That's in party chat. I saw I upgrade to him. Disable device 4 to 5. Oh, ho, 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 that's a nice thief item right there. I'm happy with that. And I got some Shadow Dragon scales and some ingots, so I'm good there. I can type. Now I should go check the auction house, see if any of those ingots are up for sale now. Yeah, that's a really nice pull. I'm happy with that. Go bank that real quick until I figure out if I'm going to use it here or somewhere else. That's one of the really useful tomes. I'll go ahead and pick this back up. I've barely run the Fire and Litter Peak. I ran it, I think, three times one day, and that's it. Used a couple timers. Hmm. Teleporting for Tempest Spine for that Twilight Forge. I don't think I want to run Twilight Forge today. Not really what I'm into. Um, not sure really what else to do. Today that was just sort of spontaneous. Let me check over. Shredder Palooza over. Yep, it is. So there we go. Um, I know it's double comms weekend, so I can get more comms. Check my comms real quick. Well, I have 8,637 comms of Valor. I need the heroic ones for that stuff. That would mean running Follow Truth or Caught in the Web. That's what I should do. I should try to figure out why I'm not flagged for Follow Truth. That would be a good idea. Oh, and while I'm here, I think I lost an auction. Did I go the wrong way? What the heck is the mailbox? It's not the mailbox, that's the... That's the mailbox. Yep, a couple auctions. Might as well run to the bank and 
deposit the tome. I think I have some sh personal bank space for that. Just pop that right in there. And uh, get rid of some of this. <laughs> There's a feather falling ring. Dodge six percent, feather falling, and dullness. Where's my high level loot? Oh, I have heard my garments loot or loot, but I gotta do some of those too. Uh, and I also got this uh, shard of Zoria yesterday. Not potion. This higher level stuff can go in there for crafting, deconstruction. Be a good idea. I've been running some lower level stuff just for favor. need XP so all right so let me check that maybe well I've done Madstone I know I've done an epic person of planes I've done it there this is where having separate... I have, I'm not going to try and look at the... Uh, saga thing. So I've done all those. Of course they're showing elite be heroic elite because that's the highest level I've done them on. I think I did, it, did them on normal or hard with the guild. I thought for sure I had done them. Let's go to Giant Hold and check. Because I thought I had all those done. I was sure I had all those done. The last time I tried, it didn't work. Which I joined a party for, which was... I had to back out of, which I was annoyed by. I didn't realize until it just about started that I wasn't uh, flagged. Because I remembered I was. Let's see, is this the... Oh. God, I don't... I really don't like Giant Hold Area at all. I don't know where anything is. thought that was the guy that... Did sagas no? Uh, somebody around here knows about sagas. What's this one? Ah, there we go. Okay, there's the heroic one, which I also need to finish the heroic saga. So there is that. Ah, uh, there he is. There's the heroic saga, or epic saga. Uh, yeah, there's the spider queen. And the beef lower in mating season. Oh, you're going to use them to get the spider queen? If they don't kill you first? <laughs> Alright, so... Madstone... is done. Prison of Plains is done. Cabal is not done, Tor is done. So Cabal is the one I need. Okay. Let's do Cabal then. Thanks for that, Skunk. That was good information there. So this is Hobgoblin there. Oh, 
That's a lot of spiders. Including one jumpy one. Esso is playing a Don't Starve. That's what we're cross talking about. So this is the one I want, right? The Return to Giant Hold. This is the epic one, I thought. But why is it showing a 14 then? Oh. Uh, teleporter to get closer to that one. I have to look that up. The teleporter is that guy with the thing above his head somewhere. He's back up this way, isn't he? Yeah, it's that one. Okay, so let me look up real quick. Um, giant hold. And where is that? Nope, that's not the right one. That one. I thought there was one with paths that showed you the shortcuts. I'm doing Cabal, which is way up there, so I need to go to Storm's Fist territory. Looks like. I hope that's right. We shall see if I have chosen wisely or not. Oh, and jump over. Oh, you got a spider hat. Nice. Yeah. Okay, well. This is the one I think you have to go up and across. I don't know. I don't run giant hole very often. I don't really care for it that much, so... It's neat and different, but it's big and I get lost easier and none of the quests are really inspiring to me, so I don't run them. So I want to be on that ridge up there, I think. But I have no idea how to get up there. That falls off into lava, so that's not it. Alright guys, you're just bothering me. Back off. proper dwarf track it's for taking on the giant is to trip them. Alright, let's try this again. Looks like I can go up this way. There we go. That gets me some height so I can go no, that's where I was. That's where I thought I needed to go, and it wasn't. Arr. This area is all confusing. Let's see what happens if I go this way. Oh, hey. What's the chest for? Wisdom damage, that's odd. I don't usually see wisdom damage. Alright, so now it looks like I'm heading the right direction. Yeah, 
Yeah, whatever, guys. These ruins have long been inhabited by this fractured remnant of the Dakani Empire. You want the child? I vaguely remember doing this one before once. That's about all I remember. I really need to get on a saga train one of these days and uh, run them more often, learn them a little better, where they are, which ones where, and all that. A lot of people run them a lot. Just not my favorite quests. I'm really glad they're redoing the uh, Veil quests. So I really don't like those either. I enjoy Shroud, but I don't like the Veil Quests at all. I still need to be running with the Devils on Elite. Blah. For favor. That light damage is just horrendous in that one. So I was in uh, Reaver's Reach Refuge, whatever it is, trying to get some of those done for a favor, and I was in the Ice one. Did it twice, no problem. And then the third time, which was the Elite run, of course, had issues. Actually, of them, I would rather run Cold Chamber, because following a uh, bit of a guide. I didn't find that too bad. Yeah, it's a lot of running, and there's some annoying things with the collision detection and knocking off the things, but overall, I would rather run it than Rainbow in the Dark, or... Um, was it Let's Living Death Lies the one where you can't kill the spiders, and of course I have a great axe with glancing blows, so that's really difficult for me. And then Dust has the stupid light damage, it's ridiculous, so... Of them, I would rather run coal. I did that to get pieces for one of the blanks I needed. Oh yeah, I don't have an anti-blindness item anymore, because that's on my lower level gear set. At some point I'll figure out what uh, augment slots I want on this Epic Orchard gear. and be able to fill in the holes. But for the meantime, I don't plan on being a... Uh, yeah, I know, it's really bright. <sighs> How long does that stuff take to wear off? Jeez. Glitter dust. <laughs> there we go. Nope, went the wrong way. I was supposed to be on this side. I'll put the map up here to block it a little bit. Make it a little less dark. Or a little less light. A little more dark. That's how that works. But yeah, I ran Colossus Chamber, I don't know how many times in a row until I got the last couple things I needed for whatever blank I was making. I think it was for the staff. Actually, positive staff I needed. Green bird twigs or whatever they are. And I kept getting the other things dropping, not the ones I wanted. They're pretty expensive in the auction house for the fact that you can just run one of those quests and get them. So, well, glitter dust stays around for a while. 
Excuse me. See, I just sit down with a map guide thing and run through Cold Chamber Rule. I think, I don't remember how many, it took me like 20 something minutes to run it, I think. It wasn't horrible. But considering the annoyance factor, that's the one I like better of the choices. Not being able to see it all in rainbows. Ridiculous. And yeah, the torch thing, but... Again, then I have to switch back to the torch, switch back to my axe, switch back to the torch. At least in Cold Chamber, it's just basically just a Zerg run through it. Except for that stupid ambush. Man, I hate that ambush. Required kills. I messed that up the first and second time. It was ridiculous having to go back for it. Did everything else correctly, but I didn't kill all the people in the ambush. Oh, you failed. What? How did I fail? These guys don't even matter. You can walk right through them. No. Anyway. So I am very glad they're going to be reworked. Because Cold Chamber is in the way. I think it's the concepts aren't bad for those quests, but the implementation just ends up being not fun, at least to me. I, I love the concept of Rainbow in the Dark. It's a really neat concept. And the end puzzle is kind of hilarious. But it's a real pain being a melee and having to hold a stupid torch and then switch back and forth between your primary weapon and that. And I really need blindness immunity because this glitter dust stuff is getting old. I guess I could throw on the smoke goggles. That should fix it. And I'm dancing. Oh my gosh, where's the smoke goggles? Does that help at all? Does it only help if I'm out of it? Or does that not even help for that? Okay, do I have the smoke goggles on? Yes. And no, it doesn't help. Killing him does, though. Okay, so if we kill the guy that's throwing the dust, that solves the problem. Which is kind of silly. The dust can hang around forever until you kill the guy that threw it. That's okay. Have a seat, dude. Once I confirm I'm flying Victoria, I'll probably take a break. Not sure if I'll come back or not, because I know uh, Raid Night's coming up. Try not to go over official stuff when possible. All right, so where do I need to go now? Looks like it's over that way. Hmm. 
you look like the kind of jerk that throws dust. Let's kill you first. I have started putting uh, some screenshots together of my various OBS stuff. Uh, and I also just put up my uh, DDO layout. Looks like it's just an XML file. It doesn't have anything important in it, so I put it up in case anybody wants to have this particular UI layout. Um, I am using the Blackbird skin at the moment. That's why it looks this particular way. But the layout saves all the bar locations and all that. So if you're interested, I can link you to that. I should probably put it in a post on my site, make it easier to find. But anyway, I was going to say I was going to try to put together a full tutorial post on how to set OBS up specifically with DDO and how I have different things set. Talking to Bonnie about that yesterday. Looks like she used some of the stuff for her stream. I try to lose the stream today. is more impressive because I don't have anybody who can use the knuckles right now. A chest lies in the passage behind the throne room. It bears Gardax markings and unfortunately has been emptied of its contents. Okay, so I haven't found the relic yet. What am I missing? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. Alright. So, it looks like that should flag me. I might run the others just for the saga and see what my points are. But the important thing is getting flagged for follow truth. I'm slowly knocking down these raids that I haven't done yet off the list. I'm sure I turned this into somebody. This person right here. Um, I'm actually going to take heart seeds this time. And then that guy that had the sagas was... over here. Okay, so Madstone, Pop, Cabal, and Tor. So it looks like I should be able to do Fall of Truth now. What's this? Um, I've done Tor before, though. That's Reaver's Fate. Uh, 
Uh, who am I not talking to that I need to? Um, all right, fall of truth. Speak with or do I have to complete torn now that I'm otherwise flagged? Draz Nog is who I need to speak to. Because according to the wiki, it has to be done in an order, looks like. So which one's Draznok? Because he's the one I need to talk to. Draznok's that dude right there. That's him. And he's telling me to do tour again. Or maybe I just have to go say talk to the guy for Tor. Maybe that'd work. That guy's up here next to Tor, I thought. I know I've done that before. Maybe it wasn't flagged correctly for Tor or something. I don't know. Sometimes stuff happens out of order and things go weird. Nope, it looks like I have to do Tor again. Didn't have to be a Tor group up, does there? Nope. Alright, well, let's try it anyway. Oh, I want to be flagged. Flagged, flagged, flagged. Oops. It's only level 24. What could go wrong? Besides, you know, everything. Alright, move this one shot. I thought I did. I can go check him again. If I can recall it here before the giants start attacking me. <laughs> His audio is still going. His voiceover. That's funny. Yeah. Um, I'll just wander around and see if all these guys, anybody has a check mark on them. He says, Giant Old Tor. It's this guy. Well, I didn't take the reward for this one, whatever, whatever this was. Cry for help. Which isn't one of the ones I need to worry about, so that shouldn't have done anything. Um, here's somebody. That's an odd weapon. That comes from that. That was Foundation of Discord. Uh, 
I don't see any others. I still need Amazing Madness, which... Uh, is that even soluble? Maybe with Hireling and the Trial by Fire. For this saga. Everything else is done. No, he is insisting that I do tour. Hmm. Maybe I'll put up a quick LFM. I have no idea. What the normal level for that is. So well, there's start some of them, so it should be around this area. There it is. Ah, I can't type today. Just do twenty. I was going to put something about streaming. That's right. Reset it, go back in. Hopefully it won't take too long. I actually only know one of the paths. Um, I've done it solo before on Heroic, but I haven't done it in a long time. I'm sure I'll figure it out, but normally we split. When we do this in the guild. are spawning. Oh really, you like Sonic? Let's do Sonic then. I like Sonic that way. <laughs> oh, dwarf screams giant falls. Or giants fall, I should say. Not just one. Yeah, this shouldn't be a big deal. I didn't think it would be, but you never know sometimes when you're not familiar with something how crappy it can go sometimes. This is like Devil Assault, but with giants. Yeah, I forget quest turn ins all the or quest rewards all the time. Usually it's because I pop out of the quest and immediately start doing something else and forget to go turn it in. 
Especially things like, you know, Haywire's Foundry on 4, that's... done a lot as part of the 1 through 4 chain. And that, uh... The turn-in guy is way far away from the quest. You had to walk pretty far to get to him. So it's easy to just go back to the airship and forget about it. I'm not seeing guards rushing through the door. Oops, wrong door. That's why. Oh, hey. I presume we can still get in. The way east is sealed with some ancient giantish magic. Oh no, you have to come back for that one, that's right. You go up around, jump back down. And then you go where you split. Pretty familiar with not being able to evade heavy armor. Um, what'd you say? It was Madstone, Pop, Cabal, and Tour, yeah. Let me get that paste in the chat window. What did you say? Madstone, Pop, Cabal, and Tor. Oh, that's a lot of bees. Are they all killer bees? Ugh. Did this one have a... Uh... No, you don't get those little areas. That was the one that defeats the fire barrier, I think. So you have to go back here, jump down. Yeah, that's right. So you come over here, jump down, then you get where the fire barrier was. Yep, there it is. The magical giantish barrier is down. You are free to move deeper into the tor. And now you go down here and there's another crack in the wall or whatever they're called to get through to get down stairs to open the other lever. 
or lever, as my guildmates like to say. You find a crevice concealed by rubble here. It is just large enough to crawl through. on my back. I guess that's fair. I knocked his buddy down, so he knocks me down. Where I get fuzzy. I think I go through this door. And is that the way to the boss up there? I don't remember. Master stands with that way oh, yeah, there we go beware Oops. sure we can do dragons that's cool I 
out on the dragons for a while. My role is generally to do the non-dragon part. I go after the other guy. I think I'm going to take the Stunning Blow next time, rather than uh, Sunder. Improve Sunder, I should say. Was it? <laughs> yeah, I hadn't actually done improved sunder ever, so I decided that this time I'd try it just to see if it did anything for me, and it really doesn't. So I'll try stunning blue next time and see how that works. as a jerk.
My trip has been working great for me, but another one, another way to. Oh, he needs a. Uh, he needs one of those. I guess we'll switch. That was fun. Big flight. Uh, piles of gold. They're lovely. I just want to loot the room button. I'm going to loot it anyway. Just let me loot the whole room at once. and piles and piles of gold. It's not really worth the time to loot these by the time you're epic because they, they don't scale. Flawless Black Dragon scale is nice. I'll take that. Apparently didn't use too many resources on that. Here's what I missed. to mute for a second, if I can find the mute button. <laughs> I hope I muted for that. Had a little bit of cough there. Ugh. Again, if I don't have to. I mean, theoretically, Sunder does give you a, uh, a fortification bypass. So. That's somewhat helpful, but the AC part doesn't really matter in epics. At least not that I've found. May have to watch my health a little bit here. Actually, I should just pop this anyway. Done with it. Toss a uh, cocoon over that way. Is there anything I need to do over here?
Oh, there's still somebody over there. We're probably not having a trapper, so this will be interesting. If this is the steps of the traps on him anyway. Yep. There's one that way, and there's one this way. You gotta get them all. Stupid. I switched something around in my... I think it's working quite the way it used to. So if I hard target something, it does not come off. Weird. Stays hard targeted. Got set off. Versus the trap since I seem to be having better damage mitigation. Interesting people are joining after we've done, finished.
definitely need a break after this. I just find it odd that people join a uh, LFM that's like 30 minutes in. I don't really mind, it's just odd to me. Yeah, I understood what you meant, Skunk. Yeah, I just let it go, and I don't really care too much. Um, I don't put too many LFMs up, so... Usually if I do put an LFM, it's for either something specific, like I did today and last night, where I was trying to get through certain quests, or it's a uh, kind of a daily chain thing, where... I'm doing several, so if people join me anyway, that's fine, because I can solo whatever it is anyway, and then we can go from there and do uh, the rest of the chain. Or, like the normal two times spies, two times whiz king, fawn three, sometimes twice, uh, that sort of thing. So, it's better if people join me anyway, that way the party stays more full through the whole series of quests. Is that the bird? <laughs> Bouncing bird. Almost. Fourth person's almost here, and we can take the blue dragon down a lot easier than we took the other one. What was the black dragon first? Yeah, I think that was the black one. You have a recipe cheat sheet. Here's the things you actually want to make, and the rest of them, eh. Oh. Does your crock pot actually put out some light? That's cool. Hmm. That's a good point. Would the Ring of Jin be better than... Oh, I do have Blindness Immunity on the ring. I forgot I had the Ring of an Origins on. So that... Uh, Glitter Dust even gets through Blindness Immunity, which is annoying. All blue and sparkly. What happened? He just got bounced. Guess we're introduced by ourselves then. A voice, the dragon's right. Let me take the dragon, I can take the dragon, that's fine. Mm. 
clicked on the uh, thing to start the battle, evidently. Well, so happens when people get bored and start fooling around. Stuff happens, it's not a big deal. I hope they're taking the giant down fast. Yeah, it looks like we're a little too fast on the dragon. What do you want, dog? Dog, what do you want? Dog, 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 dog. I think I'm done picking gold up. It's pretty useless. Lay down, dog. Lay your butt down. That's all you gotta do. Lay your butt down. Oh, Mantle the Dragon Friend. Isn't that nice? I haven't had one of those yet. <laughs> Got his pillow all comfy. Settle in. Crazy dog. Alright, I think I'm done with this stuff. Did anybody leave anything? Nope. Oh, you can go that way, that's right. I remember that last time we figured that out. See, I probably could have sold this not too much problem. We just kept it with two of us and it would have been quicker to finish. But it's working out anyway. Not a big deal. Let's say 12. For my buttons there for a second. Grab that treasure bag. Hopefully this will work out just right. And Raid night will start right at the time I'm signing off. And, uh, That'll be that. Rain Night does start in like 10 minutes, doesn't it? I think it does.
Oh, dwarf, I already moved slow enough. You don't need to slow me down anymore, thanks. I may not really know my way around here, but I know at least what I'm trying to do. I gotta get the runes to open the thing. I know that much. I'm gonna have to go smack a cat here shortly. <laughs> <laughs> 